Welcome to the future of gaming. I'm Invincible, and this is the Playable Games Weekly Update video. Our mission is to create play-to-earn games that transport you to a different place, that immerse you in the experience and allow you to experiment with being something more than yourself, directing the ownership, design, and economy of these games to the people who play them and to reward those players with in-game assets they own. Get ready to level up, because I've got intel on our card game, Nexus, War of Steel, Dogs of War, and Colony Mars. We've shared concept art for wizard style cards. These are concept art for the necromancer style cards. This is way cool. I played swamp and mountain style decks in Magic the Gathering when it released in the 1990s. So I could see myself playing a necromancer deck for sure. Tune in every week for more information about our upcoming trading card game. Nexus is a team versus team shooter game, also known as a MOBA. This is the spawn area where players purchase weapons and abilities. Look how incredible the graphics are. I don't mind spending time just hanging out here. Looking around gives you a good idea of how magnificent this game arena is. Hop into our Discord, join the closed beta chat room for updates on how to play Nexus this month. War of Steel is a mech battle royale game. We will do our best to have a skin for everyone, and this mech is for the steampunk fans. Stay tuned every week for more War of Steel intel. Dogs of War is a survival game and is Old Bull's pet project. In addition to the inventory systems we showed last week, this is the current look at the crafting menu. You can pause the video to see some of our test items. Stay tuned every week for more early looks at Dogs of War. Look at this juicy cheeseburger. Colony Mars lets players build their own farm business, and this week I've unlocked one of my favorite foods, the burger. Each week you'll learn more about Colony Mars right here. Remember to represent your favorite gaming studio by acquiring merch at playablegames.store. We've got stickers, hats, hoodies, shirts, and more. You can trade Bull Token on Trader Joe's, L Bank, and Bitmart. Bitmart currently shows the price at 0 .0004, or four hundredths of a penny. The volume of transactions is averaging over $257,000 per day this week for a total of $1,802,519 in volume for the last seven days. The market cap is currently $824,186. There are 50,000 nodes for sale total, of which 4,380 nodes have been sold. Currently, 1,564 coins per node per day are distributed and 45,620 nodes remain for sale. The current price for a node is 4,400 US dollars and there are 20 nodes left at that price before it increases to 4,500 US dollars each node. Remember, you can use Snowtrace to keep up with playable games on the Avalanche blockchain at your convenience. There are currently 1,239 wallets that hold very important bull passes. There are currently 2,157 wallets that hold Playable Games nodes. And there are currently 2,211 wallets that hold Bull Token. Remember that our mission at Playable Games is to create play-to-earn games that transport you to a different place, that immerse you in the experience and allow you to experiment with being something more than yourself, directing the ownership, design, and economy of these games to the people who play them and to reward those players with in-game assets they own. That's all the new info I have this week. Please let us know your questions in the comments below for a chance to be featured in a future AMA video. I hope you all learned something this week during our recap, and if you did, please like the video to tell YouTube to share it with other likely viewers. Subscribe for more playable games content and hit that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. I'm Bruno, aka Invincible, and I'll see you all again next week.